Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine if a, poly, if a function is a polynomial function and, or if a function is a polynomial. So basically, the way to determine if a function or a, poly, or a function is a polynomial is basically looking at two rules. Um, we have to make sure that um, all of our variables um, have powers that are, one, uh, non-negative integers. That mean are that are non-negative integers, meaning they have to be um, positive. They can't be negative, um, and they can't have to be integers. That means they can't be fractions and so forth. This also works in the same respect. You know, non-negative and um, and integers also helps out. Remember, like square roots and radicals, we can rewrite those as fractional exponents. So it's be careful. So you also can't you also can't include any of your variables to be under a root. Um, positive or negative, as well as remember, negative powers mean basically mean that the variable can also can be rewritten as um, in the denominator. So you also cannot have any variables in the denominator. Okay. So, but the overall really definition is you the powers of all the powers of the polynomial of every exponent has to be non-negative integers. Okay. So. Um, when we look at this, basically what we're going to do is look at every single term and make sure that we have a non-negative integer. So. Here we look at each and every term, and you can see that the powers are 2, 1. And this one you could write in x to the 0 power, because x to the 0 power is 1. Um, I'm not going to do that for every single one here, but that is, that is important, which will come up to later. But anyways, this is an example of a uh, polynomial function. Over here, you can see that again, both of my powers are integers, or non-negative integers. So that is an example of a polynomial function. Um, over here, we have a problem we, where the power here is not of a non-negative integer. Because yes, that's 1 up there. But really, when we rewrite this, 5x cubed plus 2x minus x to the negative first. Because when we rewrite an, uh, a variable in the denominator, we rewrite it as positive uh, or rewrite it in the numerator, it's going to have a negative power. So therefore, that is this is not a function. Or I'm sorry, not a function. It can be a function. It's just not a polynomial. So anytime you see a variable in the denominator, it's going to be basically a non-negative power. So therefore, it's not going to be a polynomial. Um, let's go and look at this one. Now, again, this one doesn't show the power. However, the power in this example is 1, kind of like over here. So that is an example of a polynomial function. Duh. Um, over here, yes, we have a fraction, but that fraction is of is the coefficient, right? It's not the power. So therefore, again, we look at the powers. That's all we're concerned about is the powers. We don't care about what's in front. So the power in here is 3 and 1. So therefore, this is a polynomial function. In this example, again, you can see a variable here in the denominator. Um, so therefore, you can't have variables in the denominator because that's basically a non-negative integer when you rewrite it in the numerator. So therefore, this is not a polynomial. OK, over here, again, as I mentioned, non-negative integer. Fractions are not integers. So this is an example of not a polynomial. Now, this one gets a lot of students, f of x equals 8. This is a polynomial um, because, again, as I mentioned, you could still have a variable in here, just x to the 0 power. Well, 0 is an integer. Um, and it's not negative or positive. So it's a uh, so it's not going to fall into non. It's not going to fall into being negative. So therefore, this would be a polynomial because um, the power is going to be zero. It's non-negative, which of course, and it's also an in, it's an integer. Over here, you can see the square root. Well, the square root of five, we know. Oh, if that's okay, you can have that as a coefficient. Um, the only thing we're concerned about is the power. Well, we can't have a variable. Um, being under the square root or in the denominator. So therefore, um, because this would be rewritten as x to the 1 half if you were to convert that to a rational power. So therefore, this is another example of not a polynomial. Okay. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine if a function is a polynomial. Thanks.